Hey guys, I'm here we are back with another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a look at the Comica Boom XD2, which is the model that I've got right over here. Now there are six different models on this generation. So I'll leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out. And of course, this one that I'm using has two transmitters and one receiver, but if you only need one uh, transmitter, then there's one of those packages and different packages depending on your needs. Now I did all sorts of tests, which I will be sharing with you. But the first thing that I would like to share is that I will be using during the old video, the built-in microphone, which was one of the things that impressed me. Usually built-in microphones of any of the recorders is not that high end and this one really really nice being able to use a microphone probably this is not the setup although i did uh, um, place this darker shirt but i would say with a jacket or something like that it will be disguised and we can use it without any issues without any cables so really really nice now talking about using the microphone like this let's go for the first test so let's test out the microphone built in on one of the transmitters and what I'm going to do basically I can speak like this or like this but I'm going to put on my shirt which is not the best outfit for this but I was thinking probably in a black jacket we can put it somewhere right over here and probably we will not notice and until that end right over there it's about 20 meters or so and one of the things that I would like to check out is that even facing that direction if I can capture the sound or not. Hopefully I can and I'm going to face backwards so that the microphone is uh, blocked by my body and like this it's in a line of sight so this is just just great and of course we can use the uh, Lavalier microphone but this is also a great option and the sound for the test that I've did so far really really nice so great improvement not really sure if we are hearing the wind or not but there's a wind muffler as you could see included which is great and as you could see without the lapel microphone outside we could see a little bit of the range so in a space of 20 meters i would say that we will have no issues at all i'll show you in a few moments a test with the lapel microphone as well but after that test i also did something really interesting which was to take uh, the receiver to the second floor of my house and then i started to go down and of course we go uh, through walls and doors and whatnot between the transmitter and the receiver and i was surprised and i'll show you in a few moments that it did not block the signal i'm on the second floor right now and i'm going downstairs so that we can do another test in terms of distance and besides that what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it on because i'm going not going through walls but the microphone is going to be blocked by walls and doors and so on and so forth so i will keep on talking so i can give you a little bit of feedback if sorry about the noisy dogs but let's go for it so closing the first door on the same floor as the camera is and i'm going to shut this door and going behind a wall and behind this wall we are talking about four walls a living room a small living room bedroom bathroom four walls in total not really sure if you guys are hearing anything this is on the same floor now i'm going to open the door and i'm going to go downstairs so just going through the stairs and i'm now on the base floor at this moment really beneath the camera so not really sure if we are hearing anything because there's the uh, concrete block between one floor and the other one so i'm not really sure if we got anything and now i'm on the basement level and you are probably starting to see me right over here we are talking about I don't know 30 20 something meters and if i go to this corner right over here of course i'm blocking the microphone uh, with my body not really sure if you are capturing that or not so here i am and yes uh, more than 30 meters man if i go to this side right over here so just that we can test out the audio by the way not using the lavalier just using the built-in microphone which i did find 
uh, that has a really nice sound. I was actually surprised with it. And basically this is it. And if you ask, hey Robert, could you achieve this before? Yes, I could with an external microphone, but I would need to join audio and video. And if we have a lot of files, then it gets messy. In this particular case, I'm recording here with a lot of freedom and the audio is getting right into the video file, which is just awesome. So as you can see, a lot of freedom and I was impressed with this test because of the walls. I was expecting to get some kind of block, but no. What I've learned so far is that in short distances, which is up to 20 meters or so, walls and doors and things like that will have no effect at all. On longer distance, it will have. And the next test, I went to the beach so that I could test out more than 50 meters. And you will see something which is, I will be using on my right side, on my hip, and the signal gets blocked as soon as I go roughly 20 meters or so. And then only when I get back, I will have signal back because I'm in line of sight. So this is one of the things that we will need to uh, look at the manual <laughs> and to learn how to use it. Because if we are on line of sight, we will be able to use more than 50 meters without any issues. If we block with our body, then the story will be a little bit different. Okay, so let's go for a more drastic and more extreme test, which is in terms of range. I did it at home, but I was not happy because the results were great and I want to see more of the limits. Comic Estate's 50 meters, so to that side it's more than 50 meters. I just want to check out with you guys right over here where it starts cutting. And although I will not have a measurement, you will be able to see the distance. And of course, uh, I just did it in Portuguese and um, I haven't watched the results. By the way, I'm using the lapel microphone at this moment so that we can hear the difference. There's a bit of, I'm not really sure, or not. 30 meters at this moment, more than 30 meters. And if I turn up, where it will start to get it once again. And if by any reason you will not hear this part of the audio I will have to cut it and here I'm sure that we are picking and I'm feeling the wind not really sure once again and if it is really sorry about that really happy with the sound quality of the built-in microphone which surpassed my expectation and also on the Lavalier microphone built in right over here by the way if you don't know this is for good Portugal Algarve which is the great place where I live and uh, just Love it. And I'm loving this Comica setup right over here as well. So thumbs up. But nonetheless, great results, really happy. And I was using the lapel microphone. It was a bit windy, so I was worried about the sound, but it didn't pick up the wind, so great. Now, before we move on to another few tests, in terms of the package, it's something really complete. It comes with one receiver in this particular case. The receiver has a stereo and mono mode, which we will check in just a few moments. It has an input for audio and also an output. The volume can be changed individual for each of the two channels, and then it has a USB-C for charging the battery. It has two transmitters with a built-in microphone, which is what I'm using right now. It has a connection for the lapel microphone and it has a really nice detail because we can put the lapel microphone and it has a small hole which will hold the lapel microphone. So it's just a safety there, even if I'm using it a bit more aggressively, it will not be able to get out of there. So that was a great, great spot on. In terms of battery, roughly the same as the receiver four and a half hours, five hours without any issues. Now, one really interesting thing as well is that the accessories, we have everything that we need, cables and the lapel microphones. And one of the things that I enjoy is that we look at the package that it's complete. Sometimes we look at another packages and they are not complete. We will need another cable, an adapter, or we will need the lapel microphones and the price will start to increase and increase and increase. And right over here, if you're looking for something complete, this is a great solution because it comes with everything. Even if we want to use a setup like a phone, like I did on my iPhone 11 Pro. And right now we are capturing the sound with the Comica wireless system using the Lavalier microphone. And as you can see, I'm using a iPhone 11 Pro on a boom stand 
with a accessory for the phone. Now I could use a simple tripod such as this one. The only thing that I recommend is using a accessory for the phone that has a cold shoe, cold shoe mount so that we can put in the receiver like I've got, like I've got right over here on the top. And basically that is it. And while I was talking, hopefully we can see how the audio sounds because sometimes phones have better preamps than some cameras, so let's check it out. And just great. Now, finally, the test that I made was just to mimic a kind of an interview setup. So we just recorded in Portuguese and now in English, I've got Daniel right over here, just to simulate a kind of interview. So what we did in the morning, Daniel? We go to the beach. We went to the beach and the water was cold, no? A little, a little bit, but uh, I was I was playing uh, I was doing parkour in the rocks and I w I warmed up a little, and when I come back to the water, the water was more comfortable. Warmer. Was warmer. Okay, yeah. so we are in mono mode, and this is the sound that we could get on an interview like this, some distance from each other and from the camera as well. Now let's switch to stereo mode and right now we are in stereo mode. So we have two channels and I honestly prefer mono but you will be the judge of it. Daniel, so what we did or what did you do after going to the rocks? Did you go to the water? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I go... no. I went to the water it was yeah. cold? Was it cold? Was it warm? Uh, it was a little bit cold, but after 5-10 uh, minutes, the... I habituated. Okay, so the water was fresh, was a little bit cold, but it was great with a bit of waves. Now, this is the stereo mode, so guys, back to you. And basically, this is it. So in conclusion, what I can say is that, in my opinion, it's a really complete package at the fair price. We have tested Comic uh, devices in the past and uh, build quality, price and performance. In this particular case, audio quality, it's really a balance. And usually the quality surpasses the price, which is just awesome. Also, the package is really complete in terms of the accessories, audio quality, and of course, I also enjoyed not only the quality of the built-in microphone, but also this distance that we can move on, and especially that test that I did, walls, doors, and so on. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.